Cat Ninja, Book 6, Fish of Legend. Written by Matthew Cody. Illustrated by Chad Thomas. Performed by Taylor Meskimen and Tom Rivera. Be free, my fishy comrades! Free! That nutty squid's dumping all the fish! That's no squid, that's Octopunch, the eight-fisted crime fighter. But he's supposed to be a good guy. Ninja, you cannot stop me. The ocean commands, and I must obey. Must obey. This was the scene last night as Metro City's protector, the mysterious Ninja Cat, fended off an attack on the Dockside Fish Market. The apparent assailant was none other than Dockside crime fighter Octopunch. Why he suddenly turned from hero to menace is anybody's guess. Octopunch himself seemed confused by his actions. It's an escalation, I tell you. First a ninja cat, now a boxing octopus? Sheesh, there's never anything good on. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Ow! Darn it! Eight hours later. Ah, oh, poor Claude. You slept all day again. I'm glad Claude made it home safe last night. We're going to the aquarium soon, and Leon would be super nervous if Claude wasn't back from fighting crime. He wasn't fighting crime. He was fighting another hero named Octopunch. The name's the only thing criminal about him. What's that flying thing? Bolacopter. What's it do? Flies food to my face. Couldn't you get the bowl yourself? Yep. But you don't. Nope. It's a science thing. Oh. Anybody home? Hey, buddy. Long night? Oh, this? Yeah. Mom's not back yet, is she? No, why? You know how I said we're raising chicks in class? Yeah, I don't know why they let the sixth graders do all the cool stuff. Well, one of the eggs didn't hatch. Leon, what did you do? I kept wondering what if it hatched all alone? I mean, what was going to happen to it? It would get stolen by a mad scientist and mutated into a giant fire-breathing chicken? <sighs> what? I thought you were looking for guesses. It just looks so lonely all by itself. But maybe I didn't think this all the way through. What are we supposed to do with it, Leon? I don't know. Maybe I should just take it back. Kids, you almost ready to go? The aquarium closes at five. What do you have there, Leon? Did you actually eat the lunch I packed for you? Oh, yeah. It was delicious. And nutritious. Ow! What she means is, I ate it all. Marcy, you really shouldn't let Mr. Squeaks out if he's not in his hamster ball. <sighs> what the... Kids, how many times have I told you to clean up your toys? Coats on and ready to go in five. Okay, look, 
I'll return the egg tomorrow. But in the meantime, you've got to take care of it while we're gone, okay? You two can do that, right? Just keep it warm and safe. Everyone's talking about the new puffin habitat at the aquarium. I bet the lines are going to be around the block. Great. So now we're stuck babysitting an egg. Marcy said to keep it warm, but how are we supposed to do that? What? No. No way. Fine. But if I find out you're recording this, I'll plant freeze mines in your litter box. Ow, 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 ow. How's the little guy sounding? <coughs> this octopunch thing's really got you worried, huh? Maybe instead of asking why a hero would suddenly turn to crime, ask yourself this. What if he didn't have a choice? My money's on mind control. It's like Super Villainy 101. Well, I'll be a gopher's uncle. It's King Crab! fancies himself a wizard because he got lucky one day and crawled inside a magical conch shell. Wait, if he's causing trouble down by the water, he's probably headed toward the aquarium! Can't believe they didn't have any toy hamsters in the gift shop. It's an aquarium, Marcy. I don't think hamsters swim. Not even Mr. Squeaks. Where are the puffins? I know I read about puffins. <laughs> Look at them, foolish land dwellers. They should be humbled to be in my presence. They should bow to the king of the seven seas. Hey, I'm walking here. Behold the mystical shell of Atlantis. With it, I rule the oceans, and soon I'll rule the land, for I have the conch. near the penguins. Ah, ouch! Cut it out! Um, hey mom? Is that a puffin? Go get him, Ninja Cat! It's Cat Ninja, Dad. Hmm, pretty sure it's Ninja Cat. Volocopter One to Ninja Cycle. Keep your eyes peeled. We need to find King Crab and get him out of his magic conch. He's using it to control all sea life. So stay away from anything dangerous! Ugh. There's no way out! Aw oh, man, we're gonna get trampled by tiny puffin feet! Cat Ninja, I have eyes on King Crab! He's on the roasted nuts stand!
<laughs> King of the Seven Seas gets all the roasted nuts he wants. Yeah. So, Cat Ninja, you think you can stop me? Well, first, you'll have to stop my great white shark! That's some thick glass. Best two out of three? Later. Thanks, uh, for your help, Ninja Cat. Guess we'll hold this fella in, uh, well, Merv has an old turtle tank he's not using. Is that the Ninja Cat? Claw? Uh, yeah, it's Cat Ninja, Mom. Thanks, Cat Ninja. Later that evening... Sure, Cat Ninja gets all the thanks, all the glory. It's not like I did anything to help. Huh? Oh no. Mama? Oh no. To be continued.